it's Jenny from Origami Tree and today I thought I would do a video that is somewhat different. So if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Origami Tree, you'll know that I run a lot of arts and crafts workshop throughout the city here in New York City. Um, if you don't know, I live in New York, which is why my room is so cluttered. And this is my room, by the way. I have never shown it on YouTube, so take a quick look. Maybe one day I'll do a room tour in a another video but anyway so I run a lot of arts and crafts workshop I teach kids and also senior citizens mostly in both Chinese and in English and these workshops can have anywhere between 10 people to 500 people so as you can imagine there's a lot of prep work that goes into it there's a lot of funding that is needed so um, thank you to everyone who has donated to origami tree by the way and you can feel free to help at origami tree.com slash donate all of the proceeds are going towards making videos for you guys and then also for buying craft supplies for the some of these events so it helps to off cost um it helps to offset sorry some of the costs that actually are some of them are coming out of my pocket so <laughs> anyway i love doing what i do and i don't think i'm going to stop anytime soon but that being said you know uh funding really does help and it helps to keep me going because you know i live in new york city which is one of the most expensive cities in the world I think I think definitely in one of the most expensive in the US so um, I need to keep the lights on and blah 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 anyway so I thought I would take you behind the scenes of what goes on behind one of these workshops and I'm gonna be very candid so I'm just gonna do it kind of vloggy style here is my room behind me I have my bed over there with a little teddy some papers laid out um, on my bed because I'm in the middle of a project <laughs> and then uh, some of my arts and craft supplies right here which I will show you in another video in detail but Anyway, let's flip the camera around. So I usually have one to three suitcases worth of stuff and I kind of just Uber to the location I need to get to. This one is by Kenneth Cole Reaction and I actually do not recommend it because it's really hard to roll and it hurts my wrist. So one day when I get the funds, I'll buy a new one. But anyway, so here is what's inside. I'm going to Teacher College's Academic Festival today. It's their 10th anniversary. So um, I don't have a picture of their logo with me, but I'll post it in the video. So this is what we'll be making with the kiddos. We are making pinwheels and it spins. So let me spin it. Anyway, it spins. You get the idea. Trying to match some of the colors of the festival that is going on. So I have the blues and the yellows and different hues. So I'm gonna put that in that bag and go into that later. So this is the suitcase that I use. There is approximately 100 kids for this particular event, so it's not that big. Um, this suitcase has two sections over here. I'll show you this first, I guess, right? Let's open it up. All right, not much to see here. So in this section, I have several new this is where I put all of my new supplies so these are my backup supplies I always 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 prepare more than I need to the last thing I want is to run out of supplies when the kids want to make something so I have two extra packets of the super tips washable markers and I really like these because the body of the markers are white and I just think that's prettier than the traditional ones and then I have some extra supplies in the back so these are the ones that I am hoping not to use so I can save it for some of my seniors. But if I need to use it, I will pull it out and I won't turn down any child. That would be, not be nice. So I'm going to zip that back up. And then over here, I have several boxes. So these are boxes that I got from Michaels when they are on sale. They're only about... Uh, uh, I think it's $2.50 or $3 each, I can't remember. I have a variety of glitter pens and, or rather glitter glue. I label it, look at that. Mm. All right, so open it up, there's a whole bunch of them. So I have some by Crazy Art, which is, I got these from Staples because I had a coupon and I thought, hey, if, I'm, if I have a coupon, I might as well use it for the kids, right? So whole bunch of glitter glue here hundreds of them i haven't really counted so ah, can't close it back anyway put that there so i have two boxes of glitter glue all labeled and then i have more boxes of the super tips so here and here if you open this box um 
I also have a box of crayons. Honestly, I do not like using crayons because they break and I, they have that smell. I don't really like the smell of crayons, but I have it here just because I kind of want the kids to use it up, to be honest. These are just parts for the pinwheel. Because they're small parts, I don't want kids to choke on them. And I, also, I don't want to lose them. So I keep them in a baggie and I put it in my pocket during the workshop so that... Um, we don't have any problems with missing parts. So I have that there. And then over here I have color pencils. Color pencils are also not my favorite. But um, mainly because I have to sharpen all of these after every workshop. I like to keep my supplies in very, very good condition. Because, well for several reasons. I want them to last a long time. And then also I bought these with my own money. So... I need them to be in good working condition. So here is a pair of scissors. I always have a pair of scissors when I run a workshop and also tape. I always have tape. You never know when you need tape. Um, things break, kids want things to be taped back together. I use tape to tape things down to tables and things like that. These are brand new um, to my collection and I was actually able to afford these through a donation. So thank you for that. These are little stampers for the children, so you just open it up and it creates little stamps. I think I have an example here, here, right there. That's a stamp. So these are stamps. That's a stamp right there. These, by the way, were made by, um, well, my intern, <laughs> but the person I hired, my assistant, to help me with sort of doing some of these things, like cutting the ribbons. Like, I always want to, if I, there's ribbon to be cut, always do that before the workshop. That way you don't have to run around with scissors and try to, you know, do that while the kids are all busy and stuff. So here are some extra ribbons that, just in case, I don't think I need it but I have it just in case. These are like 500 yards, they're huge. Got them from Paper Mart, I love Paper Mart. Um, I actually have several videos from them, so I'll link those in the video description. But anyway, now I have some stickers and I put everything in little clear baggies so I can see what they are. And these baggies are reused just so that I don't waste too many of them. As you can see, I have some that are already used from a previous workshop. So we're doing it's spring now, so we have some spring stickers here. And because it's an academic festival, I went ahead and I got, I wish I had three hands. I went ahead and I got some sort of academic stickers, so like Little Hero sticker book. These are a great deal that you get 304 of them for only a dollar. They sell them at Michael's and they're by uh, Createology. So these are kind of neat. I always get these. Um, sometimes I buy more expensive stickers depending on funding, but I have a couple of those. Bot Buddies. Uh, oh, lots of Bot Buddies. Space Explorers. This one's a good one. I like these. Oh, look at the pig. Oh. Space Explorers, and I think that's it. So, like I said, there's not a lot of kids for this workshop, so I don't have a lot of stickers, but these are the stickers. Here is a folder that I bring all the time. So I have some flyers here that I made. They're really old, but I want to use them all up. And also some business cards. Um, like I said, I run workshops and I also do events, so you have to be able to give people a way to contact you. Here I have more pinwheel stuff. So these are the papers that are going to be used to make these pinwheels. So what happens is the kids are going to decorate them and there's a flower to decorate too. So the flowers are also in this bag and then they, well, I will help them assemble it if they're young um, or their parents can do it or, you know, they can do it themselves. So anyway, all right, there we go. Here are all of the sticks. So the pinwheels each have a stick. I have them over here bundled. And then actually, I love what I did here. I'm not bragging or anything, but I really do like this. I can't even take it out. Hold on. One second. Okay. So if you look really closely right here, um, you can see that I have the right angle stick part of it all pre-made. And I had my intern help me with that. So... 
that was good. Otherwise, it would take me hours. By the way, I do pay my intern, so it's not slave labor. And that goes into the funding as well. Then over here, I have a flyer holder. So it has two compartments, one for the flyers, the big one, and then a little one for the business cards. And then I have two... Um, flyer holders as well with the advertising and then these I got from the dollar store so they were a good deal I should probably get a couple more of them but they're hard to come by because um, our dollar store is always empty <laughs> so these are my favorite things that I own for workshops there's another one down here I have six of these these are cubbies they each have a sticker that I had made by sticker mule and there are two small compartments and one large one and a handle so you can get these at the Dollar Tree as well but they are very 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 cheap and I would not recommend them at all these I actually got from Amazon and they are going to last me a lifetime because you they're unbreakable they're just they remind me as of those Fisher Price toys that just never break so anyway I have a bunch of them and blue purple yellow red teal and green I wish I had them all in teal but they were ex insanely expensive to get them the same color so I got various colors which I think is fun and usually I put the markers and color pencils in one thing and then a glitter glue in the other and then for the large compartment I usually put the stickers or the project itself so for the um, for the pinwheels, if it fits, oh it does fit, I might put that in there. And this just keeps things organized, not only for myself, but also, also for the kids. And it'll let me know if I have to go into my backup to put things in here. So that is all the stuff that I bring along with me to arts and crafts workshops. Sometimes I'll add a little bit more or less depending on how many people are coming. So this one is about 100 kids. So sometimes when I do 500 kids, it's literally five times that amount. And I'm rolling two suitcases along with a bag and a backpack and a purse. And it's just, yeah, it's a lot of work. Really hope you enjoy this video, this sort of candid vlog thing my arm is about to fall off because i was holding the camera <laughs> like this so i'm really happy to finally be able to put it on a tripod um but i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a peek and maybe one day i'll do a room tour as well as you can sort of see there's a lot going on behind me <laughs> it's actually an organized mess so don't judge me too much now that you've seen sort of what goes behind the scenes the organization of supplies thinking about projects and then kind of gathering the projects and funding it and transporting it from one destination to another via car service and then having a, an assistant help me with cleaning and maintaining all of the supplies that I paid for with your donations and also out of pocket. I'm hoping that you would you know be able to support Origami Tree if you would like to and if you're in a position to so you can go to origamitree.com slash donate and all of the proceeds all of it is going to go towards not only making videos for you guys but also for kind of growing my collection of supplies that I can let you know that I can teach kids with and teach seniors with and you know recently we raised almost two hundred dollars to uh, buy a bunch of artist aprons for senior citizens at a senior center downtown I'm not gonna name it just for privacy reasons but I'm sure they're gonna be so thrilled and grateful for uh, all of your support so be sure you donate if you can at origamitree.com slash donate and also follow me on Instagram and Twitter subscribe to this channel support the cause and I will see you guys next time bye